Okay, this is iPhone 11. Okay, they have the same design. It's a common issue. Now I'm putting the SIM card. So I got the signal. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi so then I can see I still only have the edge so this is mean I cannot get the 3G and 4G signal okay I can only get the 2G it means the antenna all the other things is fine only the one of the network IC that handle the, the 3G 4G have a problem okay we can call it high band issue I will just immediately dismantle the board and measure So I will just use a preheater Okay, so I will pick it up Put it aside So then look at any other damage Make sure it doesn't have any loose pack, okay? Or pack missing. No. Okay. Good. I will use the XPU and then take a look. Okay, especially there's a line in the 11 series that will always go short itself, you know. Okay. So this is the iPhone 11 Home board Okay, look at this line We may need to check this Okay, this is the line that always he will Short itself So I'm gonna do a look at this shape Tree ground after that is here Okay Okay, so this is the line I need to measure This one So we got resistance So it is good So if you find out this line is not short Then it will be the other one Okay, it's still from the same IC you know This is a high band PA high band IC He is the one responsible for uh, any high band frequency so there's another line that you need to take a look is this one okay it's called vpa et high band okay this one you're gonna measure your next step let's continue to measure it from what i see is from here okay you're gonna do take this about like this in here so i get all zero all zero So from here 1, 2 is ground, they shouldn't be all 0, okay? So they're short. This 9 is definitely short, okay? So look at the ZXW, from here 1, 2 ground, this 4 dot should be OL, okay? From this IC. Definitely this IC or one of the cap having a problem. So how do you find out the problem? Either you blindly remove the things one by one or you do the jumper. So I will solder the jumper. Alright, this will be enough. Okay, looking at the thermal camera now. Injecting the voltage to see where's the heat. I can see only the whole section of here is hitting The whole section of here So Let's burn in a little and then see So this IC is the one damage, it's not the capacitor Okay If capacitor, it should be the one that get hit, you know But it's not None of them, so only this IC is the problem So we take it out, it should be become OL in this line Okay
let's measure this again the same line so this is the line that shorted so the shot is gone so change the IC let's confirm with it but if I look at the IC in this way there's funny thing that is inside this IC there's a capacitor you know okay there's possibility we can fix this IC okay so the same line in here okay in here so this place there's few capacitor on here possible one of the capacitor shorted so let's look at this IC and check this few line okay this is the line that is responsible for the shot Say it's not normal that both of them have a sound. You see, all the capacitor only one side have sound. One side is ground. This cap is damaged. Okay, this cap, this cap two side have sound already. So remove it. So let's measure this capacitor again only this capacitor alone okay so this cap is not the problem when I measure it doesn't shot so I see itself internal shot okay I see itself nothing we can do so you see uh, in this capacitor spot they won't be shorting to each other you know see I'm not touching if you want to look clearly I'm not even touching this guy these two lines shorted okay so I will get the replacement IC Again. So measure the same line in here number three. So it is OL now. So it should be like this. So here is ground. Here should be OL. Okay. They are not shutting. Okay. This line also mean as these two cap okay one side is ground one side is not ground okay so that is done and then measure this line okay 480 okay good then i'll wise reboot to reinstall the layer
so it is done let's try set up the time first okay 8.30 should be 10 now mm. okay time is readjust so time to put on the sim card okay so i can see the 4g high band is back 4g is there already hi for the audience who have this kind of problem please make sure you check it yourself first especially in Malaysia. A few months back, they already told us they are going to remove the 3G cell tower. So don't be surprised if your area doesn't get the 4G and 3G signal. If you really have that kind of problem, you stay on the same place, put your SIM card into another phone. If you can get the 4G, it means your iPhone is really have that kind of problem. And also, when you send to repair, do not tell people what to change, okay? I don't want them to charge you even the problem is not fixed, or maybe it get worse. A professional should be able to find out the problem and tell you how much to repair it. Until today, I repaired hundreds of iPhone 11 series, no service issue. It can be many different problems. If you really need our help, then you just check out our website. To the beginner who just started to repair, iPhone 11 series, they have a lot of no service disease. But iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max, they are much more simple. If 11, they have many type of no service disease. If you cannot find a problem, maybe you just only know how to measure in the dial value, but you don't know the other measurement way. So in my semester one, the online course already taught the student how to measure it in a proper way. So I see you on the next video. Bye.